Okay, we've seen on the tame how to use the keyboard playing notes, changing beats in relation to the clock and getting the beat out from here and the CV out here, which is basically the quantized notes coming from the CV generator quantizer. And now what we really want to do, we want to play a sequence on an analog sequencer and have the notes quantized. So our first step here is to establish a link um, of the clock of the sequencer to the tame. And here you see my sequencer controller. This is a A154 depth of sequencer controller. And on the left side here is my analog trigger sequencer from depth of the 155. I have two. I'm only going to use one, only eight notes out of the sequencer. And then now I've established the external clock from the sequencer controller into the tame with this patch. So as you remember, it's not called clock or external or something, it's called sixteenths and it syncs now in sixteenths the tame to the sequencer controller. And you can see if I change the speed here, the clock speed on the sequencer controller, the two LEDs are flashing in sync. That's basically now the clock speed established. And if I change the internal external setting, you can see also the change of speed of the clock. Um, the output, the beat output is coming out of the beat setting here in relation to the clock. And what's interesting is that even if you change the clock speed from external to internal, the beat will stay the same. So when you play a sequence, you don't jump speeds, but then you can actually enter with your tap button a new speed and change the speed with the beat button at your own wish. So that's a quite neat function. So I'm changing now to internal and as you can see the beat flashing light here, the LED is still flashing in 16 as it was before when it was in sync with the external clock. So we've got our clock set up and now we'll add the CVs. So I'll put in another patch cable here which is my CV out from my sequencer and it's going to my CV in from the tame. And now let's listen to that. So what you hear now is still the note which I have chosen on the keyboard. It's not yet um, connected to the CV in because this switch is switched to keyboard. And I have set to your very simple sequence on my sequences, so let's switch to Link and listen to that. So now you hear these eight notes and you hear the little uh, sequence which I've input into my analog sequencer and it's quantized according to the patch which we have chosen here. So this is still, this switch is still on patch and now what you can do, this is basically now not a keyboard, it's a patch storage uh, system and each patch chooses a scale and if you want to see which scale this patch here is, you switch to scale and then you can see now again the keyboard and the scale which is being shown is a basically a, a major scale. So let's do that again. The patch is the first, the red means the red buttons on top is the bank and the bottom uh, buttons you choose uh, the patch in that bank. So you have five banks and seven patches in each bank. Um, so here is a major scale. Let's choose a different patch. You hear the difference in the sequence, so check the scale 
and you see now the different scales so this is a, a major chord and let's change to the next one this is a um, major 6 chord and I think the next one is the major 7 yeah major 7 chord so you basically you have these pre-recorded patches four banks seven patches each so that's 28 um, scales and then you have a user patch bank this is the fifth button up here where you can create your own scale so let's see how you do that so let's go back to the C major scale this is this one and let's change the scale so we know, now we have a different scale now if we want to save that what we do is we press the save button like this and you see it chooses automatically the fifth bank which is your uh, user presets and now you can choose which patch to save it to then first or seventh or third or first so okay I'll, choose, I'll save it into my first patch bank and I press save again so now it's stored in my uh, user patch bank and let's go back to patch let's go back to the C major let's just check it yeah this is the C major and now go to my user patch which was this one fifth bank first patch and you can see that it has stored the scale which I have input with the keyboard buttons so this is really very flexible very neat once you get the hang out of it it's great you have different patches um, in the manual you can find all the, the patches which are stored the, all the presets and then you go from there and you just choose the patch you want to play or the scale you want to play your sequence in and fire up that's great I really like that What you can still do is you can still um, change the beats. See? No. Changing the beat in relation to the clock. Or changing the scale. And you can also go to triplets. So that's really nice. And basically, that's the quantizer function of the thing.